Now, welcome back. You know, today is a Monday, and I'm just trying to ease your Monday morning and probably work your way slowly to 1st January 2020. But there's a problem on set. <laughs> I have a major problem. <laughs> to my right is DKB, and to my left is Chemical. As for this one, let me sit here and drink my tea. I didn't say anything. <laughs> welcome, young man. Yeah, what to do, girl? What's been happening to your head? Yeah. Is it going any smaller or bigger? And I, my hair depends on the economy and the dollar. So. Oh, you just returned it. Yeah, I just returned. So the dollar is almost at six. So watch out for my head, baby. Uh, Jay, <laughs> this is what I can't handle. You, you better not. Yo, yeah. let's welcome Let's welcome two of Ghana's fighters live on set this morning. Guys, so you are so welcome. You are so, so yeah, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, um, I mean, um, it's it's the year of return. We have so many people coming in. It's a, an ideal time to show Ghana that comedy is also a very major area, you know, uh, in there. So what is coming off? Tell me about uh, Comedy Express. Let me start off with you, Chemical. Yeah, so uh, Comedy Express is a monthly comedy show. And uh, because of the year of return, mm -hmm. we are col uh, collaborating with uh, the year of return and then the Ghana Tourism to, I mean, launch this. There's been so many musical events, yes, but we've yes. not had... Uh, a comedy event and yeah. so uh, we we thought it wise to do this one at the Alisa Hotel and it's featuring the top stand-up comedians yes. uh, in GH myself mm -hmm. DKB and the rest of the guys mm -hmm. Jacinta Obi Lexi the comic mm -hmm. and so yeah that's that's the way forward I mean too many music musical shows and yeah so let, let's come and have a good laugh well, yeah. how, what are the strides? What are the strides of comedy? You know, and from your, in your opinion, how well is it doing in our, in our Ghanaian setting? Well, I mean, when I, when I came back like a week ago, <laughs> uh, you, you were. So what? You came back a week ago. Yeah, yeah, from uh, from. from senses. <laughs> Well, I said the the flag. I came from Goma, New York. You know, so, you know. G G N Y. Eh? G N Y. What's that? Yeah, Goma, New, New York. Hey, we all slow. But I was close to G N Bank, and you know, Indian is emotional right now. Um, I didn't say that. You will not. You did. You, you started off. I'm here now. I'm here now, player. <laughs> So uh, the thing is, it's been too much of musical yes, um, yes. activities. Uh, I can say year of return concert, rapaholic year of return edition. Yeah. I think it's time we also need to sell comedy yeah. to these foreign folks because they love to laugh. Yeah. Americans love to laugh. And the, the amazing thing is they catch comedy quicker. I was on Afrochella stage mm -hmm. and I said something oh like... Oh my God, DK, we don't say it. What? What's I going to say? But you finish it up. Fully, why? Well, you're acting like we've dated before. What's that? <laughs> <life about? laughs> like, he knows my inside out, boo. Boo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, uh, if America says Coachella, Africa says Afrochella, what would India say? Then they were like, Indochella. And I said, okay, what would uh, China say? They said, oh, Chinochella. Someone would say Chichichella. And I said, okay, what would Iraq say? And were, so the Americans were like, Iraqi chella, Iraq. And I said, oh, yeah, that show will be the bomb. And the Americans were the first to laugh. Yeah, they were young. Oh, I get it. But they, they get it coming so fast. And the Ghanaians were there like, ah, bomb, 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 stop that. We are Ghanaians. We know how to laugh. No, no, wait. We are the ones coming for your event. No, a Ghanaian movie like that. We need to find a least common multiple. Eh. Ghanaians move in line with the economy. Eh, what are you trying to say? So the Ghanaians delayed in understanding the what we Iraq say. No, you see. The bomb. It will be the bomb. No, I think the reason why the Ghanaians didn't get a quick was because there's so much peace in Ghana, I think so. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, yeah, peace also makes you a bit slow. Because you're like, yeah. So the Americans caught it quicker. So it's crazy. I say, yeah, man, give me visa. That's the most important thing. Don't just give me visa. Crazy, then you leave there and go. Are you mad? Let, let me let me take you off this particular conversation, right. clearly. You know that uh, he, he's known as a comedian, but he, you earn your opinion and your views about social issues. Yeah. Now I'm wondering, whenever you're on social media or any other media platform and you're airing your opinion, do you think people take it as comedy or they actually take the message you're bringing it's out? Shocking, it's shocking how they distinguish the two. Okay. I think it's about the face. Because when it's comedy, I look smiley, but when it's serious, well, 
It's real. You get what I'm saying? And then I feel you. Yes, it's two different. That's different, eh? That one is also true. So, so, so basically, I dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let her know. So uh, basically, addressing social issues, I mean, it's, it's how you position it and then the seriousness attached to it okay. is where people realize, okay, this guy is talking about something serious. And then the next woman, I come back to entertain them. So they take it, they, they don't take it with, a, with a, a pinch of salt. They actually take it in, in, in a whole. So before Jay will go back to the Comedy Express, yes. now if you're saying this, talking about Emilia Bobe's issue, you, you know that she, she, she's, she said she wasn't happy about your comments. Was it for real or you were joking about it? Um, you know, I promote people a lot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Sarkozy releasing a work, Wale, Stonebo. I promote everybody. The underground cats, Young Pabi, there's these boys who did some song. I don't care if they like girls a lot, but I mean, I promote them. <laughs> I'm jealous, but it's fine. <laughs> Anybody who puts out work, I promote. But I, I, me as a comedian, I can't promote as a normal person. Okay. Hey, this is a nice song. You go enjoy it, whatever. No, I have to have the comedy twist right. where you watch it and it becomes content. Right. So with her song and the video, I said that this is the wrong time to drop such a piece because you're not known in that direction. And the economy is tight. People are pressure. The week she dropped it, petrol prices went high. <laughs> so people's pressure was, was okay, let's high. Go back to comedy and, I, and I got her 250,000 views. My Facebook got almost 200,000 views. My Instagram got 55,000 views by, by way of letting her know that Ghanaians, they, their pressure is high and they might laugh at you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, and I even gave her 75%. But she didn't know. She was just misinformed. She was told by somebody, Dicky, they yell. Because when she was live on it and, and, and the Dusty told her that he gave you 75%, she couldn't believe it till my voice was played. Oh. And now she was like, and the 75% is not real. I've had 75% in school so many times. I have A for it. Wow. This guy, even he was in tech. <laughs> when you get an A and they, they add the five, plus five <laughs> to another course. So 75% is real. I've, I've never done any promotion for anybody at will and regretted before. Okay. This is the one I've really regretted. And what oh. I did cost money. Oh, I, I did regret because if I dissed you or I straight up made mockery of you, I would accept. But if you watch the video, it's like, Charlie, this time you drop out, you're no good. The people go laugh you. And then I say, I'm insulting you. And then I got you so many views. So I went to delete the videos on my page. Oh, oh no, no. I, I, I made a vow that, oh, no, no. Me, what, me, what, me, 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 this one is serious. Uh, you see? That's <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, you, are you holding it against her? Or you, what what can I hold against her? I'm not. I'm not holding it against her. I mean, it, it's, nothing she's doing well. Nothing mm -hmm. against you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, 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 okay, so it's like, I want to play with you, mm. but I know they're, 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 they're playing kind. So yeah, cool, Charlie. Fine. Let's okay. just. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, anyway, that's just by the way. Now, come on to this conversation off air with BKB. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> more questions to <laughs> <are> ask. <laughs> more questions to <are> ask. <laughs> don't mind me, he was teasing. He was teasing. Hey, don't mind BKB. <laughs> oh, I was teasing her in, in people's shoes. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, yeah, it did fetch the video, so it did, I mean, it did. yeah, co uh, kudos on that end. Because but talking about Comedy Express, well, how has it how has it been in the past and the, uh, the subsequent ones that you've had? Patronage. Well, uh, patronage has been has been good, but sponsorship has been bad. Mm -hmm. You know that. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's like most of the time, uh, companies would like to sponsor beauty pageants, and so we're even thinking of changing. Comedy Express to Express. Comedy, Comedy Express Beauty Pageant. Yeah, and so, yeah, the patronage has been good. There's been uh, a lot of people who <laughs> come out every month to support. They buy tickets. They don't come with free tickets. They buy tickets and come and watch. But then we need sponsorship. So if there's anyone out there who wants to sponsor this particular mm -hmm. event, I mean, Charlie, you our see, way there's to... There's one thing I tell people. See, Kisop, what, concert party. Mm -hmm. The brand grew with with, uh, yeah. with the genre. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, 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 I tell marketing managers to do. Let your brand be unique. Grow with the genre. Yes. Don't wait for it to blow up yeah. and, and then, then you all rush. go into it, try to chase the brand, try to chase the genre, and then the guys mm -hmm. in there, you are now using their old school mates to try and get them. Charlie Foley, oh, we, we knew the time we were in school, but you guys jump on that. It, it, it's unnecessary because yeah. you didn't contribute. That's the reason why when the genre blows up, and then the, the, the corporate entities want to get involved. They give them high value bills because yeah. you didn't contribute. Yeah. Exactly. But do, have you thought about security of the 
of the product or the service. Okay, so how many of us knew of key, counterparty to keeps of God involved? Okay, at that time there wasn't much competition. There wasn't it's, substitute. Yes, yeah, so in a new genre you don't have competition. I think, I think it's, 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 it's no, it's a business. There is also something called investment. You invest, you yes. make even, and then you reap. Can you, can you, you measure size and mass without brilliance? You know. Yes. No, and, I'm being real. Yeah, yeah. and I don't think mm -hmm. Reliance was making profit at the time they started sponsoring Science and Maths. Yeah, but now it's a legacy. Now it's mm -hmm. a, you know. So, 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 but, but I'm glad some companies are now tuning their minds in the direction of comedy. But some people have really directed their minds towards comedy, and it's like it's not for some people. One particular company, mm -hmm. Romano Distribution. The people uh, in charge of uh, Lily Rice, Lily, yeah, mm -hmm. all yeah, the Lily yeah, products. Yeah. They also Cindy have Rice. Cindy Rice. Cindy Rice. I know, yeah. And then uh, <laughs> the jealous girl. Uh, <laughs> and then um, DJ Sparkling, the, all yeah. these DJ products. Yeah. yeah. So they yeah. they sponsor um, Comedy Express every month mm -hmm. with it. It's not so much for us to do a lot of magic, but it's just enough to stay afloat. Mm -hmm. You understand? So at least one or two more is where the comedians can smile. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So Roman, Roman Distribution is doing so well. And this time I was even surprised when MTN gave me a call. Mm -hmm. Because I've been chasing them for only God knows. <laughs> and they, they, they gave me a call that, listen, come through, let's have a chat. And I would say, I mean, what I was giving was good for a start. Mm -hmm. At least they have expressed interest. It starts mm -hmm. from one city before it gets to 100 Ghana. So, okay. uh, yes. And there's a new uh, BTS in town, Officer BTS. Right. Yeah, Officer BTS, uh, they work with medical and co. I reached out to them, and they are also coming to support on on, on Wednesday night. So, mm -hmm. I think it's it's a gradual thing. It's a yeah. gradual thing, but, it, but it, it has, has taken too long. long. It yeah. has taken too long. It's very frustrating. Yeah. 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 Every yeah. month, I lose almost five thousand cities every month. But you're also investing as you're calling mm. as you're calling companies to invest, which you are in. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't mean I can't quote my investment. I'm <laughs> quoting it. Let me let me pick your mm -hmm. minds on Ghana and Nigeria when it comes to uh, comedy, and um, there is you know that. Um, uh, easy leaning of Ghanaians towards uh, Nigerian comedians yeah, because, as opposed to... Because, uh, so because how is that working with you as well as comedians, oh, we, Ghanaian comedians? We, we are fine with the Nigerian comedian. There's mm. no beef. Yeah, yeah. They actually yeah. like us and we like them back. Yeah. Exactly. We have them on, on our WhatsApp. It was one you agenda have them where? on our WhatsApp, lots of them. Like, we, we communicate. We chat, we call, communicate. Yeah. The, the, thing, the, the, the unfortunate thing is that there's one company in Ghana that decided to destroy Ghana comedy and uplift Nigerian comedy. Mm. Yes. Which, which company is this? Yeah, I, I've forgotten their name. <laughs> yeah. But I know them, uh, <laughs> but I've forgotten their yeah. name. Yeah, and you know, in, in my opinion... It was very painful, 2009 to 2014, yeah. five years it's, it's, mm -hmm. of... Imagine five years of, Jay Fool is not a good presenter. Jay Fool is not a good presenter. You think I can get some jobs? You won't. You, you, won't. you think I can get some endorsements? And, and, and this is what I think. In my opinion, it's, it's, it's not fine to compare Ghana, like Ghanaian stand-up comedy to Nigerian stand-up comedy because they have a 